This is not a clickbait. I will tell you exactly how female logic works. And keep in mind that you're going to hear something that you have never heard before because nobody talks about it because no one understands women as well as I do. Once you learn my formula, you won't have any problem with girls. You will be able to easily manipulate them, understand them, and predict them thousand steps ahead. Moreover, this formula is very simple and makes sense. But before I jump to my number one secret about female psychology, keep in mind that the hardest thing for you to understand will be to believe how simple this formula is, how simple female logic is. It took me a lot of years to realize that. So do me a favor, erase everything you knew about women up till this point and trust my word. My formula will sound very silly to you, but throughout the whole video, I will give you enough proof to prove that women are that simple. So the number one thing about female logic that no one understands is that Women, female brain is a brain of a 10 year old child stuck in an adult body. You're welcome. That's the whole secret. Now you're probably thinking, well, George, it's not very helpful. What do you mean? It sounds too simple, too silly. It's not really helpful. Give me a chance to explain. So now every time you have a situation when you're talking to a girl, if you're having an argument with her, if a girl does something that doesn't make sense, or if you hear a girl saying something that doesn't make sense, and you're like, why women are like that? Like, I, I don't understand women. Why they acting like that? Imagine that whatever delusional thing the girl said or did has been done by a 10-year-old child. And it's going to make sense. So let me give you some examples. Right now, there are a lot of videos circulating on YouTube where interviewers come up to girls and ask them questions saying, uh, how much do you think your man should make? Like, what's your ideal relationship? Like, I, how much ideal your man should make? And I hope you've seen those videos because you know what type of responses women give. So let's find a couple of those videos and watch them together. Hi guys, so my question for you is how much money do you think a guy should make per year? Um, it depends where they live. I mean, if I'm like dating them, it'd be nice if they were at least making a hundred thousand. Uh, um, I have no clue. Uh, look at the faces of those girls and see that the, these are the faces of little kids. I have no clue. She doesn't understand. She doesn't know. And I understand it's hard for you to realize that, but women really don't understand those type of high material questions like money, politics, economy. If you're going to try to talk, if you're going to go on a date with a girl, if, you, if you're going to try talking to a girl about economy, about politics, engineering, you will quickly get into the friend zone. The girl will think that you're a nerd, that you're boring. So women have their own language that you need to talk to. Uh, so when you go on a date, again, imagine that it's a 10 year old child. So you cannot raise very hard topics to discuss. So when you're on a date, you need to talk about traveling, eating, uh, resting, pleasure, vacations. That's the topics you need to cover. Like again, once you realize you're dealing with a 10 year old child, you see you won't, you already won't have problem to go on a date with a girl and know what to talk on a date so that she will consider you, uh, so that she won't put you in the friend zone. Now you know the topics that you need to cover. But also pay attention to the faces of those girls. Those are the faces of 10 year old kids. And keep in mind, uh, she's taking an interview in, in Arizona college. This women supposed to be smart. This women supposed to be educated. And when I say that women have a brain of a 10 year old child, it doesn't matter what type of education they have. It doesn't matter what's their background. It doesn't matter what family they're coming from. It doesn't matter their age. 40, 50 year old women are still 10 year old kids. Remember that and I'll prove it to you in this video. But keep in mind that these are college students who are supposed to be smart because they get in their education. No clue. Like a million? Two million? You see how she said this girl doesn't have any understanding about how money works. Even though she goes to college, Arizona State Sun Devils. 
You see what I'm saying? I know, like, I know when I said that women are 10 year old kids, it was hard for you. It was hard for you to realize that. But now we're watching an interview. I hope you've seen what I'm saying. Okay. We're at ASU, you know. So you're not going to find him here. <coughs> like, fully, like, adult. Someone that you would consider wanting to be with the rest of your life. 300K. Three figures. Okay. So why is that? Just because, like, that's a stable income, I'd say. 100, like 500 grand? 100, 500 grand? You see, she doesn't know because she's not gonna know because it's a 10 year old child. Is that a lot? Is that a lot? Like, she doesn't know. And the hardest thing for you to understand that they really doesn't know. They're that simple. Women are that simple. No, it's, uh, 500 is. On a good day, yeah. I mean, it depends. Okay. Uh, a lot more expensive. Yeah. Mills. Mills. Oh, Mills. Shit. Okay. I hope you've seen my point, what I'm trying to say. And let's go in the comment section and see something. Let's read the comments. It's like watching little kids tell Santa what they want for Christmas. This guy understands the secret. Now, next one. Society never fails to disappoint. Now, the reason why he says that, because this guy, Jesse Arroyo, doesn't understand women's psychology. It's 10-year-old kids. Doesn't matter what they say. Shout out to the girl with the board. She was real. Now, next one. They need a, rea they need a reality check because the numbers they're saying are unreal. Yes, and I agree. Those numbers are unreal. But let's say you come up to a 10 year old girl and ask her the same question and she gave you the same answer. So you ask her like, how much do you think your future husband should make? And she's gonna say millions. How are you gonna react? Are you gonna write messages like society never fails to disappoint or a lot of these girls are gonna be for a rude awakening? Are you gonna get frustrated? Are you gonna start making other videos on your YouTube channel like every uh, blogger in the manosphere does? They're all frustrated. They're making huge shows where they invite girls and they ask them this question and women say some delusional stuff and all guys getting frustrated. Wow, these girls don't know what they're talking about. Like, how can they say that? If it was 10 year old child, would you react like that? No, you're gonna be, you're just gonna brush it off. You're gonna say like, this girl's a, well, 10 year old kid, 10 year old girl told you something stupid. You're not gonna take it seriously. You're not gonna stand in front of her, proving her, yo, this is unrealistic. This is impossible. Someone actually created delusional, delusional women's calculator, I believe. Female delusional calculator. Yeah. Someone actually created a website where they calculate that if you take an age group from 25 to 35, for example, right? Race, for example, I'm white. Minimum height, six feet. I'm six feet. Minimum income, let's say, how much women were saying? 100,000? Let's take the lowest one. 100,000. Exclude the bees. Exclude married open what's the chance of getting a man like that oops find out so your probability this is my stats your probability to find a man like that 0 0.25 percent so it's very delusional what women say but again how are you going to react to this if you understand women's psychology the way i understand i'm just laughing to myself I'm not standing proving girls why it's unrealistic, why it's impossible, because, I mean, the girl said something stupid because she's a 10 year old child. This is how I'm going to proceed. I'm not going to be standing and proving women wh why they're wrong, why they have, they're going to have a reality check. You see, everything makes sense once you realize that it's a 10 year old child. Now, let's say you have a relationship with your girl and your relationship are toxic. Remember what was happening? Let's say you and your girlfriend or wife, you guys have an argument. And let's say your girl does something stupid and um, 
you don't approve it and you're trying to explain her why you're right and why she's wrong or other way like why she's right and why you're wrong but it's not the case but anyway you remember what was happening to you you start a full-on conversation with your with her you explain her your logic and your logic makes sense probably it's simple logic you're trying to explain her and what answers you were getting in return she would say like something so delusional that you would start like panicking start screaming it's like no why can't you understand this and this and that and you start talking to her and then your conversation style start getting into like full-on arguments and then you're arguing 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 for two three hours and you guys still don't get into the conclusion the girl still has her own opinion you have your own opinion like and you can't get into the same conclusion why do you think is happening because you arguing with a 10 year old child so when you try i'm pretty sure every guy had this situation you couldn't believe like how can she not understand your logic and you're like why it's happening again imagine it's a 10 year old child so now when you know this information how you should argue with your wife when you're trying to solve something you don't argue you're just telling her how it's going to be and she needs to take it or leave it that's how you should build your arguments with your woman if you want to fix your toxic relationship i understand i'm giving you quick advices but i just want you to grab the full spectrum of that or let's say how i said like you go on a date uh you have a problem that every girl you go on a date with, she puts you in a friend zone. Why is that? Well, remember what type of topics you were raising when you were going on, out on a date. You were talking about politics, economy, business, uh, how successful you are and this and that and that. Women are not interested in that. So next time you go on a date, imagine you are going on a date with a 10 year old child. So your topics will be, hey, what did you do yesterday? Oh, you have such a nice dress. Wow, look at your nails. What, how much did you pay for this nail job done? It looks so expensive. Wow, look at your dress. Like, where did you buy this dress? Oh, wow. So have you been in, on any vacations last year? And you will see how she will find you very interesting and very attractive and very smart man if you will be able to learn women language. And women language is simple. Imagine it's a 10-year-old child. So as a result, uh, we can conclude the fact that smart women don't exist now i understand it's hard for you to believe because what's ha what was happening since you were a little child you were going to the kindergarten with girls you were going to school with girls you were going to college with girls every time you turn on tv like every time i turn on netflix every show i watch they always show it like so funny to me they always show those strong smart women they like making decisions they running businesses they're like lawyers they're ceos they're founders and blah 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 but i personally have never seen a smart woman in real life now you might say well george when i was in college and when i was in high school i had a classmate a girl and she was studying very well she was very smart she graduated with a plus and all this type of stuff now Think about what smartness is let's say we're gonna take the dumbest person in the world and we're gonna give him college textbook to study and he's gonna learn and memorize everything what's in the college book he's gonna come out for the on the test and he's gonna pass the test because he learned everything in the book does it does it make him smart though no because you need to understand what smartness is a person who is smart it's not about his education it's about how he can 3d model situation for example if something happened the situation happened then a smart person is the one who can 3d model the situation and look at the situation from different angles uh, how it's gonna affect this guy how it's gonna affect that guy how it's gonna affect me what what's gonna happen if i make if i say this and he has to be able to think 10 steps ahead like you have to 3d model those situations learn how to 3d models the situations women cannot do that this is why this explains why back until what in america until 19 1960 right women were not allowed to go to college the whole in the whole world women were not allowed to get education 
and it's not because we men try to oppress women it's actually it was done because our ancestors were respecting women because our ancestors understood women uh, logic they understood that women cannot really get education because it's going to be useless now I understand here in America I sound like a misogynistic guy but I want to give you my personal example so back when I was in high school I had two classmates so one guy he was super smart he had a a plus on every class and we had the girl who also was super had supposedly super smart super smart so who also had A plus grades at all classes. So I've seen it many, many times. So when the guy gets to answer the questions or assignments, every time the guy answers the questions, if you ask him a different questions that is related to the topic he's answering, he was still able to adjust his knowledge and information and give you the answer. One time there was a situation when the girl came out to the desk and she stopped giving answers to the teacher and I asked you a question about the same topic but from another angle and she couldn't answer to me she was like she said to me George like why are you interrupt me let me answer but when I was doing the same to the guy he was able to easily adjust the knowledge that he learned from the book and give me the answer and I was running the streak everywhere throughout my life when I went to college I saw exactly the same situation so what I realized those smart classmates they're not really smart the only thing they do they just memorize what's in the book but when it comes to practice where you need to apply your knowledge and to adjust your knowledge women cannot do that it's not because women are stupid it's because that's how their brain works there's nothing we can do about it this is why there is no women inventors women have been free for the last 60 years have you seen women invented something no why because in order for you to invent something you need to learn something and you need to adjust this knowledge and put it to practice on a diff on a different angle women cannot do that that's why i personally believe that it's useless for women to go to college like if i have my daughters if i have my kids I will never send them to college instead I will teach them how to take care of the house I will teach them how to be good wives I will teach them how uh, to make good food how to take care of kids and all those like household items I understand it sounds crazy but think about it. next time every time you have a problem with a girl when you don't understand why she does this why she does that imagine it's a 10 year old child there are also a lot of more videos were circulating on YouTube in the manosphere where guys would ask a girl uh, what type of man you're looking for and you will see like ugly ass fat uh, single moms who have like five kids from different fathers they say with confident that they deserve a man who will be making over three hundred thousand dollars a year at least three hundred thousand dollars and every guy on the internet they're like frustrated panicking some guys actually start making their businesses start working out on business on their physics in order to please women this is the biggest mistake because it doesn't matter what women say because it's 10 year old kids so you shouldn't be frustrated on these answers that's why i'm throwing stones in the manosphere on youtube because i see those men don't understand women logic because they're making videos getting all frustrated about those women the way i see the situation imagine a grown man arguing with a seven-year-old child why did you do this why did you do that why did you say this why did you say that does it make this child to look stupid or a grown man to look stupid it looks a grown man to look stupid so every time you argue with a girl every time you try to prove something to a girl you look stupid just remember that it's the same like I mean in a situation like you come up to a child who is 10 years old and you ask him hey who do you want to be when you grow up the child's gonna say I want to be an astronaut I want to be a businessman I want to be a soccer player I want to buy uh, 20 houses I want to build a city and da 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 how are you gonna react are you gonna like start explaining a 10 year old child that it's impossible that it's delusional no you're just gonna brush it off so the same way you have to have the same reaction with women. 
I want to tell you my personal story that happened a week ago. So I was riding in the elevator and there was like a couple, a girl and a guy, they were arguing with each other. So basically <laughs> the guy got upset with the girl because she called him, she told him that he looks like a security guy or something like that in the nightclub. And now they go home and they're arguing and the guy looks upset and he's telling her, why did you call me security guy? And they ask my opinion on that. Uh, well, I made a joke, they started to laugh, but the way I see the situation, if 10 year old child calls you stupid or calls you something that you don't like, the child called you, you look like a security guy. If you're a grown man, are you going to get upset? No. Right? So the same way with women, if you're in a relationship with a woman and if she calls you something, trying to put you down, if it affects you, then you don't understand women. Because uh, one time I was dating a narcissistic woman and narcissism, when I say narcissism, I don't mean the buzzword. There is actually a mental disorder, narcissistic mental disorder. So basically what those people do, uh, they love bomb you, they put you on the pedestal and then at some point they start, if you don't do what they want you to do, if you don't comply, and since I understand women's psychology, I will never get complied to a woman, they will start devaluing this. So we got into this devaluing stage. She start because she was trying to affect me. She was trying to put me down, but everything she tried, nothing worked on me. So for example, I'll give you, so I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, I always act like a manly man around her and she was American and uh, she decided to attack me in my point that she saw me saying that I'm a manly man, I do like a man, I'm a masculine guy, blah, 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 blah. She tried to say that, you know, you're not a real man, a real man doesn't act like you act, a real man would help his girlfriend out because she was trying to, she was asking me to help her with something and I told her that she got into the smith and she has to fix it for herself because I was warning her that something she did that is going to bite her. How do you think I reacted? I just brushed it off. Any other guy would say, no, I'm a real man. This is how real men act. And he would start proving to her. And I was just like laughing at her. And I told her, you're not in a position to judge me whether I act like a man or not. You're just not because you're just a girl. You're nowhere near my level. Once I told her that, after that, she never used this trick to try to devalue me because she saw me laughing hysterically when she said that I don't act like a man. <laughs> and that's how you should build relationships with your women. You see, once you understand this logic, it's going to make sense. Like now, if you get into a relationship, a girl call you some names, you're not going to react to this. If you come up to a girl and she rejected you, you can't react. Like you can't get upset because I mean, 10 year old child rejected you. So what? But you have to get this knowledge instincts on the like inner level. It's not just information. You actually have to see for yourself that women are 10 year old kids. So I'm what I'm offering you to do. Let's do an exercise. Why don't you go on Instagram, find some women's profiles, find random girls and try to go through their Instagram and see what the girl's talking about and you will see what I'm saying. So basically what you're going to see, you're not going to see girls talking about politics, economy, invention, business. No, 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 no. You're going to see pictures of food, pictures of their ass, pictures of their tits, uh, vacations, traveling, all the dresses, looks, nails, uh, jewelry, very, very simple topics. Because once you see that every girl you go to, they're all the same, you will realize that all women are the same. All women are 10 year old kids. And try to find different type of women. Try to find 18 year old girls, 20 year old girls, 25 year old girls, 40 year old women, 50 year old influencers. That are, you can find them on Instagram. And you will see that no matter the age, all their stories, all their posts, all their pictures are all about Sex eat, 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 travel. That's it. Just do this exercise for yourself and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Or if you live with your parents, 
try to come up to your mom and have a conversation with her. Hey mom, who are you gonna vote for? I don't know, Hillary or Trump? She's gonna say Hillary, for example, right? I'm using examples from the past. And try to piss her off. You know how you can piss her off anyone? Try to ask her questions. Why do you think Hillary is a better choice? Why do you choose Hillary over Trump? Uh, try to ask her questions, like specific questions, and you will see how even your mom will get easily irritated. Because you have to understand, you cannot ask question, you cannot ask 10 year old child questions like, why do you think it should be this way? Why do you think like that? Those questions are very hard questions. So if you go on a date, don't ever ask her, ask girls specific questions. Why do you think like that? Because you won't get any answers. Actually, let's do one exercise together. We're going to go on Instagram now. Hey guys, I just got into the Instagram. So let's do this exercise together. You can see my page here. And I'm going to just choose random women, random profiles. I don't know those women. And we're going to go through their Instagram and you will see for yourself what I'm talking about. That all women have the same interest. It's 10 year old kids. So this girl is hot. Insomnia girl. She looks polished. You all American guys think that for some reason Eastern European women are better than American, which is complete bullshit. So by looking at her Instagram, I mean, all we see is like ass tits, ass tits, ass tits, ass tits, ass tits, ass tits, ass tits. Do you see anything else? Ass tits and bragging. I forgot to tell you about bragging. The way women brag is just like on the next level. Look, ass and tits, ass and tits, ass and tits. Where's the food? She should have some food here. How do you like those Polish girls? You see, all women think about is like sex and food, sex and food. Now, if we go to her story, I guarantee you we're going to see some food there. Nope, no food. All right, let's find a different girl. All right. Uh, which girl do you guys like? All right, this one's hot. Melissa Kenter. Again, ass and tits, ass and tits. Even though her Instagram is about business, like about fitness, I guess. But still, ass and tits, ass and tits. Love, ass tits. Do you see anything talking where she talks about business? Nope. Ass and tits, ass and tits. All right. Let's see if she has food. We need food. No food. All right, let's go to the next one. I'm trying to find a businesswoman. Let's see if we can find a businesswoman. Napolitana Stella. Oh, food. Here we have food. Again, look how beautiful she is. Ass and tits. First speak of 2023. You see, women will never talk about some something smart business economy winter selfie all right let's try to find how do you find businesswoman all right let's find businesswoman Slim C, businesswoman, my only page. Let's see if this woman is business. No, she still have ass and tits. That's what you call businesswoman? That's your boss babe? Tits. You see, like, she's taking a picture to show her tits. Ass. They can't name something I did flow. I am a dying breed of the realist. That's what you call a businesswoman. You see, when I say smart women don't exist, Pay attention. All right. Uh, let's take what? Kim Kardashian, right? 
considered to be number one businesswoman in the world. Let's see what she has to talk about. Again, narcissistic pictures of herself, lips, ass, look how beautiful, beautiful she is, kids, kids, again, tits and ass, tits and ass, tits and ass, like Kim Kardashian is considered to be a businesswoman, boss girl. You think a smart person would take a picture like that in his underwear, in his transparent dress? Like, do you really consider it to be smart? Do you really think like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos was, would take a picture uh, in his underwear for the whole world to see? Never. Look at this, smart woman. It's the smartest woman in the world. So, do this exercise for yourself. This exercise is very helpful. It's going to help you to understand women. Another thing that I want to recommend you, why don't you find some women's forums where only women, where women, like some Facebook groups, where women talking to each other and pay attention to what they're talking about. You'll be very surprised. Again, what you're going to see there, food, relationship, John loves Stacy, Stacy loves Colin, and Colin doesn't love anyone. That's all the topics you're going to hear there. So again, women are 10-year-old kids. Smart women don't exist. Remember that. So next time you're having a full-on conversation, realize she's not the one who's stupid. You're stupid because you have having full on adult conversation with a 10 year old child. All right, guys, this was video number one about women's logic. If this video gets traction, I'm going to talk about other ingredients in women's mind. But this is one of the main ingredients that women have that that you need to understand about women, that all women, regardless of the age, Regardless of nationality, doesn't matter if it's Western woman, Asian woman, Eastern European woman, doesn't matter her education, doesn't matter all her background, they all 10 year old kids. You have to do this exercise with Instagram, pay close attention to your mom, pay close attention to your wife, to your girlfriend, and you will see that they are in fact 10 year old kids. And once you know that you're dealing with 10 year old kids, um, a lot of myth that you had about women will disappear because now you know how to talk to girls. Now you know how to argue with girls. Now you understand what women want. And I hope this video will change your life. I sincerely hope that it will change your life. All right. So if this video gets traction, I will make a second video where we're going to talk about other aspects of women's brain, how it works. By the way, very important thing that I want you to understand that if you're going to do this exercise, uh, I promise you, you will realize that all women are literally 10 year old kids. And what might happen is that you might start hating women. You might start thinking that, oh, women are so stupid. Women are so dumb. You will start thinking about women as a lower cl class. If this happens, this is not the goal we're trying to achieve. Uh, it's okay to go through that hatred because I had this hatred, hatred for about six months. But then I realized I actually started loving women for who they are. I started loving women because they're so funny. They're trying to be boss girls. But every time they open their mouth, something stupid comes out, out of there. And right now, I really enjoy women's company. I enjoy um having a relationship with women i love women i respect women i will never do anything or i will never expect women to do anything that is too hard so you need to get to the goal to the same relationship that i have with women you're gonna hate them for six months if you do this exercise right but then you're gonna have to come to realization that the fact that you couldn't it didn't work out with you and women it's not because women are bad it's just because you didn't know the truth who they are and when you see that they're 
silly little girls, 10 year old kids, you will you have to start liking them like that. So you shouldn't expect them to do something that they're not capable of doing this. All right, so get to this position. So it's probably gonna take you at least six months. It took me six months to start loving women for who they are. 